Hey YouTubers, it's Armed Citizen 76 back at you again with another video here. Um, this one's going to be a part two to my AR-15 300 blackout budget build. And when I say budget build, I mean budget-minded build. Um, if you've been following me along and watched some of my videos, you know how I've talked about I built a previous AR-15 during the AR-15 panic. And I had to have certain parts and I overpaid for some of these parts. And uh, this go around, I figured I'd put a little bit more thought into it and a little bit more searching around to find the parts. Uh, quality parts that is at, at good prices so I'm trying to make this video as short as I can because as you can see it's only four products on the table um, this is part two if you haven't seen part one check it out it has uh, quite a few more products than what I've got here this is just kind of what I picked up out of this paycheck um, start off by saying I, I searched all the websites these are the four particular products I was looking for not as far as manufacturers I just needed a charging handle a gas tube a gas block and, and a muzzle device or a thread protector for now and I couldn't find the best price on any website combined, like if I would find a charging handle, a gas tube, a gas block, and a muzzle device with shipping, I couldn't find it as cheap as I could on Amazon buying these from individual uh, vendors on Amazon because I had got free shipping. So that's kind of the reason what I did, and some, that's the reason why I ended up with some of the name brands I did other than what I was looking for. So let's start off to say um, this is the flash hider. I wasn't sure if I was going to suppress this rifle or what kind of muzzle device I wanted on it and if I really wanted to spend another $100 to $150 on a muzzle device for the rifle. Being I bought the barrel, you know, relatively cheap for like $140, $150. Um, just wasn't quite sure if I wanted to spend that kind of money on it. So I was going to put a thread protector on it for now just to protect the threads and got looking around and the thread protector is between $10 and $12. So uh, I come across this company, RalphSports.com and an A2 flash hider just happened to pop up and I seen that it was uh, relatively cheap. Now if you go buy a DPMS A2 style 308 flash hider or any other brand you're looking at about $20, $25, bucks. Um, this was $10.49 so this was pretty much the same as a thread protector if not a couple dollars cheaper so I figured this would dress the rifle up better than what a thread protector would and it was relatively cheap and it will serve a little bit of a purpose as far as being a flash hider. So I figured for $10.49 or free shipping off Amazon, um, I'd go ahead and shoot for it. I've never heard of Roush Sports or their company, but they claim that the parts are made in America. And I figured it's just an A2. How bad could you really screw that up? So I went ahead and gave them a shot, um, pushed a button, and went ahead and uh, bought this from them. This was $10.49 off Amazon, free shipping. Then when it was coming to the gas block, I was trying to get as cheap as I possibly could on there. So I thought that was one of the places that I could actually cut a corner and maybe save a buck or two. I'm not saying that I spent a lot of money last time on my gas block. I just bought a Spikes Tactical last time for around $35. So I can't say that it was really overpriced, but I was trying to see if I could find something cheaper this time. And Roush Sports, the same company that made this A2, uh, made a gas block. Well, I went on the internet and Googled uh, their, their gas block, and they had a 50-50 review on it. A lot of people were saying that they was having... Uh, you know, failure to feed issues or cycling issues, and they end up having to take the gas block off and drill out the gas port a little bit. And that solved the problem. Some people were saying, and it was more than you know one person saying this. And some people were saying that the where the holes drilled for the roll pin wasn't completely true, and they was having trouble getting the roll pin in. And their gas block was like twelve ninety nine free shipping, and I was like, well, twelve ninety nine. Do I take the chance? And it's bad. And twelve ninety nine could been money I could have spent on getting a different gas block so I decided not to go with theirs uh, next cheapest one I could find was Yankee Hill Machine which was I think YHM 9383 it was 1998 with free shipping off of Amazon I looked at some of the reviews they were pretty good um, but a few people and this was more than one or two people was saying that the gas block was very tight and they couldn't get it on the barrel and they had to sand down the inside of the gas block um, which is smart because I wouldn't be sanding on my barrel and uh, I just don't want to get a gas block that I've got a monkey with and, and sand on and sand on to get it to fit. And then it just, just didn't want to go there. So I started looking at some of the other reputable companies. And I come across this company called Odin Works and didn't know a lot about them. I'm kind of new to them. Looked at a lot of reviews and I couldn't find one single bad review about anything they made. So uh, it being the next cheapest uh, gas block at 2749 uh, I went ahead and pulled the string on it. Like I said, got it from Amazon, $27.49. Um, now you can't see because it's in the bag. I should take it out, but I really don't want to open it and lose the roll pin. But 
it's not completely round the the sides of the gas block are flat like kind of machined flat and up here it's not completely round up here where the gas tube goes in the tops are kind of machined flat to give it like this octagon kind of look to it and i thought that was pretty cool um the finish looks real good they do give you the roll pin the tool and two set screws and it is made in the usa so I'm going to put it on and uh, I'm going to put the A2 on and the rest of these parts here this weekend and complete my upper and uh, tell you guys a little bit about it. So that's what I did for the gas block. Um, this is a gas tube. Uh, gas tube's a gas tube, pretty much. Uh, Roush Sports, you could get a combo. A gas block and a gas tube for like $15 off Amazon. But I was looking for a uh, black finish. A gas tube uh, just because when it's under my free float hand guard you'll be able to see it and the stainless uh, kind of sticks out a little bit so I wanted a black one and once again I was trying to shop on Amazon just because I couldn't find any website that had all four of these parts together with a decent price or at least with the budget I was trying to stay in with with the money I had out of that paycheck and it was between Seekins and Spikes Tactical it was pretty much the only black tubes I could find on Amazon the Spikes Tactical is like $20.16, something like that with free shipping. And this one here is being a Seekins Precision. Um, it was $18.95 free shipping. And uh, Spikes is local. They're here in my state. They're not far away from me. So I kind of like to support them and buy their products whenever I can, as long as they're fairly priced when I find them. And Seekins Precision, they make awesome products too. Very good products. So there was no which one's better in quality to me um, so I just went with the cheapest one so I ended up with the Seekins and it comes with the roll pin too as well like I said Amazon free shipping $18.95 and then moving on I needed a charging handle um, I really don't care for the mil spec handles because I like the extended latches and I don't like buying the mil spec handles and throwing the extended latches on it so they never seem to fit quite right and they just don't feel quite right so normally I use a uh, Bravo Company's BCM charging handles. I used their large which I believe is a Mod 3 and uh, I was looking to get one of those but uh, even on Amazon I really couldn't find any that had free shipping. They were still like $44.95 plus shipping even on Amazon. So you're looking at another $5-10 dollars shipping so you're at about $50-55 for a charging handle. And I was really trying to keep the cost down so I just got on YouTube and typed in extended charging handle to see what would come up. And uh, I've seen a lot of different charging handles come up, and some were even more money than what BCMs were, like Rainier Arms. And I didn't feel that I needed an ambidextrous charging handle because I'm not ambidextrous. I don't, I really don't shoot using my left, or I'm not really very good with my left hand, so uh, I'd probably never use it. So uh, I decided to stick with just a regular uh, charging handle, and I come across the video of Strike Industries. And it looks like they were putting out a pretty good product. I uh, haven't heard a whole lot about them. Uh, so I went on there and did some reviews. And really nobody had anything bad to say about them. Um, it does feel lighter than the Bravo Company's charging handle. Don't know if whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But like BCM, this is set up like a gas buster. It has like this lip here. So when the hot gases expel and, and, and escape and kind of come back at you like a mil spec. It's slick sided, so kind of gases just come right back at you, you know, in your face. Where this one hits this little lip and shoots the gases up. And it's also scalloped. I don't know if you can see it, kind of scalloped here and here. And that makes it lighter. And then it's got a little texturing there. But I got this off Amazon for $29.95 with free shipping. I figured, wow, 30 bucks for an extended charging handle that's made out of $70.75. You know, forged aluminum, and it's made in America. I figured, why not? Well, guys, that's just kind of a short video on the four products that I, I picked up. Kind of give you guys some options if you're out there looking to build your rifle and uh, trying to save you a buck or two. But till next time, guys, like, share, subscribe, watch. Later.